Hi, third grade. We are here with a new anthology text. The title of this anthology text is Earth, written by Jeffrey Zolke. The genre is expository text. Remember, an expository text is a text that teaches you facts and information about a specific topic. By looking at the photograph on the front cover and reading the title, can you guess what this expository text is going to teach us? Let's take a listen to the summaries first in English, then in Spanish, to see if you're right. Earth by Jeffrey Suelke. This expository text gives facts and information about Earth. Billions of people and billions more plants and animals live on Earth. That makes our home planet a special place. No other planet has living beings on it, as far as we know. Earth has everything that living things need to live, such as air to breathe and water to drink. Gases covering the planet hold it in the warmth of the sun. That helps keep Earth the right temperature to support life. Earth has neighbors in space. It is part of a solar system. Our solar system has the sun at its center. Eight planets, their moons, and smaller objects move around the sun. Earth is called a rocky planet because it is mainly made up of solid rock. Mercury, Mars, and Venus are also rocky planets. The gas planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are made up mostly of gases. Earth's closest neighbor is the moon. It moves around Earth. Both Earth and the moon travel around the sun. Earth Este texto expositivo brinda datos e información sobre la Tierra. En la Tierra viven miles de millones de personas y aún más cantidad de plantas y animales. Por eso, nuestro planeta es especial. Hasta donde sabemos, en ningún otro planeta hay seres vivos. La Tierra tiene todo lo que los seres vivos necesitan para vivir, como aire para respirar y agua para beber. Los gases que cubren el planeta mantienen el calor del sol. De esa manera, la Tierra tiene la temperatura adecuada para que pueda haber vida. La Tierra tiene vecinos en el espacio. Es parte de un sistema solar. En el centro de nuestro sistema solar está el Sol. Alrededor del Sol se mueven ocho planetas, sus lunas y otros objetos más pequeños. La Tierra recibe el nombre de planeta rocoso porque está hecha principalmente de roca sólida. Mercurio, Marte y Venus también son planetas rocosos. Los planetas gaseosos son Júpiter, Saturno, Urano y Neptuno. Están hechos principalmente de gases. El vecino más cercano de la Tierra es la Luna. Se mueve alrededor de la Tierra. La Tierra y la Luna viajan alrededor del Sol. From the summary, I learned that we're going to be reading about Earth and what makes it special. And we're also going to be learning about the other planets and objects in our solar system. Let's check out the essential question. What do we know about Earth and its neighbors? Read about how Earth is different from the other planets and the moon. Let's get started. Our home planet. Have you ever seen this planet before? This is Earth. It is home to you and everyone you know. Billions of people live on this planet. Billions more plants and animals live here too. That makes Earth a special planet. As far as we know, no other planet has living beings on it. How does Earth support life when other planets do not? Our planet has everything creatures need to live. It has water. It has air we can breathe. People enjoy the bright sunshine and warm temperatures on a beach. Earth's water and air make it an ideal place for living things. From space, you can see Earth's blue oceans and brown land. How is our planet different from other planets? 
What do all the details in paragraph two have in common? All the details are about things Earth has that help creatures live. It says that the planet has everything that they need. It has water and it has air that they can breathe. By reading these details, I can determine that the main idea of this paragraph is that Earth is special. It has features that support life that as far as we know, no other planet has. Earth has warmth, too. Gases covering the planet hold in heat from the sun. That keeps our planet warm, but not too warm. Some planets are much too cold to support life. Others are much too hot. Earth is just the right temperature to support life. This paragraph talks about gases covering the planet to hold in heat from the sun. What would happen to Earth's temperature if gases did not cover the planet? Well, without these gases, the temperature would be colder because the gases hold in the heat. These gases around the Earth are kind of like a blanket for the Earth. The gases trap in the heat from the sun. We can study Earth in our own backyard, but scientists have also learned about Earth by studying space. They have learned how other planets are different from ours. Learning more about space helps us understand why our planet is one of a kind. Studying space has allowed us to learn a lot about Earth. Down here it says stop and check, summarize. So to summarize means that we're giving the main idea of the section. So it says, what did you learn about Earth in this section? Summarize the first section in your own words. I learned that Earth is home to billions of plants and animals. It has air we can breathe, water, and the right temperature to support life. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. Studying space helps us learn why Earth is one of a kind. Earth and its neighbors. Earth shares its neighborhood in space with many other planets. Earth is part of the solar system. The solar system includes the sun and eight planets. It also includes rocks called asteroids. Dwarf planets are part of the solar system, too. Dwarf planets are smaller than the eight main planets. What do the details all have in common in this first paragraph? So, by looking at what these details have in common, I can determine that the main idea is that the solar system is home to many planets, asteroids, and even the sun. The sun lies at the center of the solar system. The planets closest to the sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These planets are made mostly of solid rock. Scientists call them the rocky planets. When I read, I pause after each section of text to summarize the most important ideas. This helps me check my understanding and remember information. I might summarize Earth and its neighbors like this. Earth is part of the solar system. The solar system includes eight planets, asteroids, and dwarf planets. The sun is at the center of the solar system, and Earth is one of the planets closest to the sun. This diagram shows planets and objects in our solar system. The asteroid belt and Kuiper belt are groups of rocky and icy objects. Pluto, Kuiper belt, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, asteroid belt. These two pages are rich with information. We have a heading, informative text, a diagram with labels, and even a caption. The heading tells you what the section is about. 
the diagram helps you to picture the information that is described in the text. It shows the planets and objects in the solar system and their position with respect to the sun. And it also gives a sense of their relative size. The caption tells about the diagram and adds explanation. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are called gas giants. They are mostly made of gas. They are the largest planets in the solar system. They are also farthest from the sun. Earth is the largest of the rocky planets. It is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. Earth is nearly 8,000 miles, 12,800 kilometers wide. But our planet is much smaller than the gas giants. More than 1,000 Earths could fit inside Jupiter, the biggest planet. Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter, left to right, are gas planets. They are much larger than the rocky planets. Listen to these three details. Earth is the largest of the rocky planets. Earth is nearly 8,000 miles wide. But our planet is much smaller than the gas giants. What do these three details all have in common? These details all describe Earth's size. What is the main idea of this section? Earth is the largest of the rocky planets, but smaller than the gas giants. Earth is the third planet from the sun. The sun is about 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers away from Earth. To travel that far on Earth, you would have to circle the globe 3,733 times. The sun may be very far from Earth, but its rays warm the planet. Deserts like the Sahara get very hot. In this paragraph, this sentence says, The sun is about 93 million miles away from Earth. How does Earth stay warm if it's so far away from the sun? Down here in this caption, it explains that the sun may be very far from Earth, but its rays warm the planet. So what happens is the sun is very hot and it has rays that reach out to planets. So the sun rays reach the earth and that's how we can feel the heat and warmth from the sun. That's also how we have daylight. And then those gases that surround the earth that we had mentioned on the other page, those gases trap in the heat from those rays. And that's why our Earth has heat. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. This picture shows the eight planets in our solar system. The sun appears on the left and the dwarf planet Pluto is on the right. This picture shows the size of each planet compared to others. This diagram shows just how small the Earth is compared to how big the Sun is. Here we need to summarize again. It says, what have you learned about Earth and its neighbors in this section? Summarize this part of the article in your own words. Well, from this section, I have learned that Earth is the fifth largest planet. It is the largest of the rocky planets, but it's smaller than the gas giants. The gas giants are the largest planets and the farthest from the sun. Earth is the third planet from the sun. All right, boys and girls, we are going to pause here for today. We will finish the story tomorrow and continue learning about Earth and the solar system. All right, boys and girls, bye for now.